As we are playing Circus Lake Creek. Uh, this is a game I was excited for and I wanted to try. I played Darkest Dungeon, but I don't know, Darkest Dungeon was a little weird. Dungeon crawlers I couldn't really get with, but and I didn't really like as much the uh, theme, but I like this carnival theme. So let's see here. Overcome your opponent in battles with skills. Each character can use one skill every turn. Okay. So, I'm this clown dude here. <laughs> it's called Ball Throw. It's a water attack. Deals 9 to 12 base damage plus 2. Decreases devotion by 5%. 60% chance to move the target to a... to the last slot. Okay. Um, ball throw. How do we throw the ball? Um. Okay, so we gotta click on the target. Okay. Boom. I do believe your rubber ball cracked his rib. Jolly good show, Grok. Ooh. people, positioning matters. <clears throat> certain skills can only be used in certain positions and against specific <coughs> target slots. Both are indicated in the skills description. You can also manually move teammates frontward or further back during combat. Balthazar's skill called front blow would be useful here. However, front blow is only available for use in the first position where Grok is. Okay. Move Balthazar forward to use front blow for his next turn. This will push Grok to the second position. Balthazar, don't attack. Just move forward. Okay. Not only can Grok use ball throw in any position, it's also effective against all enemies wherever they're placed. Okay, so that's the positioning. So we use ball throw on. Okay, this guy has 24. Let's let's go on this guy again. What? Okay. He defended. Now. Show me <clears throat> that front blow, comrade. So front blow. Get the click. Bam! He killed him. Awesome. Each character <coughs> acts once in their turn in an order determined by the value of their initi initiative attribute. Okay, so this guy has initiative attribute 4. We use ball throw on this guy. <laughs> nice defense, Grok. Boom! He got clapped. Wow, look at this. This currency is used for most transactions, shillings, essential to maintain the life of all performers, the reputation of Circus Electrique. <laughs> A rather eventful reunion after ten years, was it not, Denise? Saving lives isn't really your style, Uncle, but thank you. <laughs> I see your mother's lion remains as spirited as ever. Yes, and just as blind, no thanks to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some facts to gather. Ah, for your circus story, of course. Dear God, no. I need to understand what the hell just happened here. That's the new story. Come, let's find Dr. Mabry. He hid once this 
maddening took hold, but... But he's a brilliant man, with brilliant thoughts, unlike certain present company. Hmm. I'll not have you speak of Grok in that way. Or growl, as it were. Where is Dr. Mabry? We've looked everywhere. Not quite everywhere. All right, circus upgrade. Train is unlocked. Character unlocked. Fire blower performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Recruit performers aboard the train. Recruit the fire blower. No Dr. Mabry in here, but I do believe Here's I the fire blower. Fire, fire, fire blower Bertha. Um Here's her skills, her attributes, circus act. Recruit the fire blower. Recruit for ten shillings. We have ten, exactly ten. Back. Crazed Bobby, coming right for us. <coughs> Tell me, Bertha the fire blower, you any good in a fight? A uh, fight, sir? Oh, he brought a mime. Guard action. Okay. Another fight here. Devotion largely determines the character's effectiveness in battle. Higher devotion may lead to higher damage and chance to hit. So, Fire Blow, if we're looking at it, can attack from these positions. I think it can attack anywhere. Okay, so we use. Let's go 56. Let's kill this guy. Yes, yes. Boom! Oh, it attacks both of them. The That's pretty cool. Use using certain skills within a battle can instantly increase or decrease the devotion of targets. Boost precision by in turn boost devotion. Okay. Okay, so boost precision. Boost devotion. So we can use it. Uh, Define trumpeting rock. Trumpeting. Oh, he did it to all. all. Okay. Oh, you missed. <clears throat> devotion may have two different values. <clears throat> the base value constantly affects the character's effectiveness, while the temporary values. Only lasts for a few rounds of battle. So. Spin Breaker. This does 40. To remove all. Oh, but it has a 30% chance to remove. No, I don't. I want to use this on this guy. I don't want to remove the devotion. Turn two. Like your own performers, reducing the opponent's devotion may lessen their effectiveness. Okay. If the devotion of an opponent or player drops to zero, they will flee the battle. That mime over there doesn't seem to be devoted. Too devoted. Use fire throw to chase him out of battle. Deals damage to his Oh, to recover some defense. Ooh. Run away. Bertha, worth all ten shillings for sure. Maybe even eleven. No, just ten. All right, now we're at 
This guy. What's this? Taunt? Move four by two slots. Taunt. Rock solution by four. Heals. Increases. Devotion. Let's use ball throw. <laughs> we don't need to heal anyone right now. Let's keep on doing front blow. Bobby has low devotion. He's gone now. We got some food. Tools. And the reputation of our circus. You can make enemies flee from the battle by lowering their devotion. <coughs> Got it. Is this fighting normal for you, Ringmaster? Only very recently. You just endanger this poor girl's life. Bertha, are you hurt? A scratch or two. Nothing a night in the sleeping cart won't heal. Okay, so the sleeping cart is unlocked. Injured performers can relax in the sleeping cart, but they cannot participate in anything else in the meantime. Must recover. Yvonne, so lovely to see you. Banged up as you may be from surviving out there. Uh, perhaps the sleeping cart should be yours for the evening. Let Yvonne rest in the sleeping cart for the evening. Cost one meat. Takes time to heal. Let her rest in the sleeping cart until tomorrow. <coughs> oh, and here comes Dr. Mabry. Help! 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 Save me from these relentless brigands! More of these fork doodles? Oh, bugger. <coughs> Love the tutorials, though. It's helpful. Use movement actions to fix your performer's position after position changing enemy attack. Okay. Although devotion can increase some skills damage, a chance to hit devotion does not affect every skill. Skills affected by devotion are highlighted with an electric effect around their icons. The positive or negative effect of devotion is highlighted in parentheses within each skill description. Okay, so plus three devotion. So fire blow decreases devotion. I want to do fire blow. Because they fix both. Oh no no oh no I Oh no Hold up, I need to sixty health, eighty seven just looking at devotion. Bam! Get clapped. Fire blow. <coughs> Crack. Let's should we boost devotion? Stance. I don't know. <laughs> Inspired. Okay. 
Let's just front blow him. Setting up different circuit shows every time will keep their novelty high. Low novelty reduces the circuit show's potential performance. Days always end after battles, with circus results and character status as reported from there. From, from there. So... He lost two health. New performer has joined Circus at Lake Creek. Effects from buildings are realized the following day. Yvonne was killed after a night in the sleeping cart and is ready to join the exploration team. You want my opinion on this, don't you, Amelia? The pillar of power you designed was lit. Exactly then, everything around us went to hell. You, uh, you should see what happened to the London Bridge. The London Bridge? Has it fallen down, my fair Mabry? Or worse, it, it disappeared. My drones confirm it. Vanished. Vanished? How? I, I can get you there to see for yourself. With a map. Mm. I just need, just need time. May I bring it to you shortly? All things come shortly from you, Ollie. Join us at the circus tent when you can. That's where she'll be. With me, watching how I plan my shows. What? You don't want to recruit more talent at the train first? A marvelous suggestion, Amy. First the train, then the circus tent. Okay. Recruit three new performers. So, we go to the train to do that. Oh, okay. We recruit him. We have enough to recruit. Fruit Maria, Fruit Caesar. Circus upgrade, character unlock. <coughs> Escape artist performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Circus, circus tent is unlocked. The new circus show draft available. Set up your first show in the circus tent. And this is how it's done. Select the village road show draft as a first step. You will get more drafts later. <clears throat> the next step in preparing for a circus show is to select the appropriate performers. Every performer has a preferred performance type, but many are also particular about with whom they like to work. The more attention you pay to the chemistry of your performers, the more sensitive your shows will be. Look here to which to see which one's type characters prefers. The chemistry bar charges at much lower rate if the icon on the card does not match its assignment on the table. Okay. The green icon here indicates this performer enjoys working with specified character class. The red icon is the opposite. To the left, the character's own class is highlighted. Set your first show. Get two stars in the chemistry bar. Get two stars in the chemistry bar. Mm. The line connecting the two characters shows how effectively they will work together based on the chemistry icons. Ah, I see. Green indicates a strong relationship, red the opposite. Character compatibility is displayed on the chemistry bar. High ratings earning more stars. The more stars you can make, the more words you can earn from performances. Hit the next button if you're set up with the performance setup. Here you can distribute the stars you earned in the previous step to best yield benefits from your next performance. 
distribute your stars without exceeding the <coughs> potential value of a draft in any category. Once you all stars available. Nothing better to do today, right? What a waste of time. You love it. Toy! Wait, what was that? Toy! Toy! Even more bloodthirsty, vicious. Water and electric attacks are very effective in rain. this decreases devotion so he ran away hmm. this guy has low devotion Let's do this. Deals damage. One to fourteen. Boing. <laughs> Boing. Ooh. Deals eight to ten damage. Soon just remove stun from all allies. Boom! You show off to increase damage and reduce all incoming damage. Okay. While the effect of trauma boost wears off after a short time, show off increases your character's devotion permanently. Moves Balsathar to the front, boosts damage by 5%, reduces all suffer damage by 5, devotion increases by 5, lasts until the end of battle, stack limit 2. Show off! Yes! And that, boys and girls, is why he's so often the main event. This icon represents all active status effects enacted by show off. Whether positive or negative, skills can inflict active status effects upon allies or enemies, often for multiple turns. Ooh, let's see here. He has low devotion. Damage over time. I want to do... Increases devotion. 10%. I want to do this. So we can't attack him because he's in the front. Bam! It's Grok's turn. Yvonne's devotion. Um, we can just end this guy.
Damn! And he resisted, he fled. <clears throat> Can be used to upgrade skills. The protection accurate shows the chance of avoiding negative status effects from enemy attacks. And since the maddening, we have food, tools, shilling. One of your characters is ready to level up. Okay. When characters level up, several of their attributes <coughs> increase. For each level up, characters can distribute 10 points to increase their Circus Act values. Higher Circus Act values are essential for more complex shows. Level up and spend all available points to increase both of the Circus Act values. Level up. Great. Spend all points to improve the select the circus acts, tributes, values in parentheses, to keep the current maximum value of the attribute. Um, so maybe we do more laughter. We just balance them out. Just trying to balance it out. Apply it. <clears throat> These the skills can be upgraded to the character's <coughs> level. Use skill upgrades to strengthen your skills. Skills level two. Uh, wait, wait, what? You upgrade this, cost one meat. Mm, okay. Requires character level three. Upgrade. Okay. Amelia, mm. I I have this for you. For answers. A map? It'll get you to the vanished bridge. Through all the dangers. Just how dangerous are these dangers, Dr. Mabry? Very. But you see, that's the beauty of this map. I have drones. I have the police radio. I know. Such as? Abandoned boxes left behind by evacuees. Wanton violence. A bunch of who knows what. How specific? This map will keep you safe. Safer. Then I shall put it to good use. Thank you, Dr. Mabry. Okay. Too much information? Feeling lost? Can't remember previously explained gameplay mechanics? Press this button for instant help or use the codex to view previous tutorials. Okay. Embark the streets of London. Okay, here it is. Embark. You can see here. Not so fast, young lady. The story's out there, Uncle. So I'm going out there. Yes, of course you are. But not without some help. Help? From whom? Your second-rate performers who aren't good enough for the premiere? A rather negative spin, and only mostly inaccurate. They're a devoted bunch, and they'll fight like old boots for you. Your safety matters, Amy. You're offering safety? You? Amy, 
Your mother's accident. I... I know you'll never forgive me, but... Goodbye, Uncle. Good luck with the show. <clears throat> I guess I'm stuck Ooh. with the four of you. But what order suits you best? Simple your team of up to four performers, each as ready for battle as they are to explore each district with you. Consider score slot preferences as you place them as indicated at the bottom of each card. Fill your exploration team from the available characters by dragging or right clicking on them. Um, what do we want? We already have Balthazar. Oh, whoops. Balthazar. That's Grok. Maria. No, we don't want Maria. Bertha was the one, right? Let's try out Pablo. No, no. Let's do you one. Boxes, wanton violence, a bunch of who knows what. Each map is made of <coughs> made up of nodes and the routes that connect them. The expert team moves from node to node in the district towards their final target. Explore one from real different types of events and items such as loot crates, patrolling enemies, random encounters, and boss battles. Select this node to move forward. In the next turn, you can choose to move left or right. This is your it's a loot crate. Oh, okay. Food. Stilled water. Continue. Whichever way we choose, we're sticking to it. No need to further endanger ourselves. Um, I like to go this way here. Tonight's circus show isn't going to set up itself. Are we sure we want to come over it? Wait, show setup, okay. Select show. Okay, wait, if they're performing... Opening act. Main event. We announce it. Now we can fight. Poison and damage or turn attacks are very effective in fog. Here we go. Some skills require no exertion. Passive skills, okay. One class skill for each class exerts a continuous passive act throughout the battle. <clears throat> Swim performers may have additional random passive skill below the one assigned to their class. Passive skills are displayed next to the character's active skills. So her, her passive skill, Bertha, when Bertha is standing on slots 3 to 4, gains immunity against taunt effects. Okay. So... Devotion. Where's damage over time? Mm. Just trying different things here. Let's read Grok's passive. When Grok and when Grok is entering a stance, increase devotion. We need devotion. I need to increase. Dep 
impressed. No! Yvonne cannot be forced to move or stunned. Deals damage, finish the stun turret for one second. Let's do this. It's taunting. Stunned. <clears throat> Balthazar's passive. When Balthazar stands before, increases critical chance by 10%. Mm -hmm. We can move him back. Uh, let's see. Ground shot reduces damage by 5%. For. Let's do this. Chance against these, do you? Miss. Wants to play. Oh no, he hit Grok. We need to start destroying these people. Remove all positive effects from the target. Maybe we do this because it can attack all of them. Feels good, don't it? Devotion. We need some heals, maybe? No? Enters a stance until next turn. Heals. Should we heal someone or should we just attack? Oh no, he dodged me. <laughs> Needs help. This does all. We need to increase our devotion. We need to heal. damage. 
a positive. Fire whip. I want to heal him. Clown care. <clears throat> Let's go. These upgrade skills. Desperate for funds, the British government sold the clock tower, better known as Big Ben to many, to steam in 1891. It's never been open to the general public since, and no steam does know what goes on there. Yes! Fine journalism, this! At the end of each day, the newspaper summarizes the most important events of the past 24 hours. Look for articles about recent events, last night's show, and the commercial status of the circus, plus a few surprises. Extra! Extra! Deadly riot! Total mayhem on the streets! What's the cause? Read all about it! Total mayhem. <laughs> 